have a, a Vietnamese contemporary fine art um, exhibit here and yeah. Oh, it's really interesting. We did this recently in 2008, and the reason for this are images of birds that are flying, that are looking for a place to live, because there's a lot of forests in Vietnam that are currently destroyed, and they're building houses, and all these birds are just flying all over the place, trying to find a home. The name of the artist is Zung San, and he's a lacquer painter. And he's been doing this now for 20 years. Oh. And let me introduce you to Zin Sam. Ah, there we go. There he is. <laughs> Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. And what part of Vietnam is he from? He's from the central part of Vietnam originally, but now he's living um, in Saigon. Yeah. Okay, good. So maybe you can explain to us a little bit more about the, the kind of work. Can you come over and explain okay. to us what, what this, this piece is? And the name of it is... Adolescence. Yeah. And I noticed that there are some representative pieces of the feeling. There's a bull here. Mm -hmm. There is figures. There's animals. Okay. Anxiety. Mixture, right? Or, yeah. Anxiety. Cái, cái piece này cho anh nghe xong rồi em sẽ translate cho anh. À, cái bức tranh này thì nói về cái ước tuổi thơ. He, it represents images of his childhood, mm -hmm. where he works with the buffalo in the fields, mm -hmm. and uh, he played in the fields, playing the flute, mm -hmm. with the fish that he fished for dinner, for, for, for food, for his family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Really? Did you actually do all that? Anh có làm hết những cái việc đó không? Cũng như là câu cá nè, chăn trâu nè. Câu cá, chăn trâu, thả diều. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, all of that, and also <laughs> playing with the kite. Uh, so it's not all work, but it's uh, work mixed with uh, pleasure. Okay. Yes. Okay. Và những công việc đông á có thể đi cày, đi cấy được. Và thôi nhỏ đấy. Yeah. How long did it take for him to do this? Anh làm cái việc đó bao lâu? Làm việc đó là từ lúc tám tuổi cho đến mười hai tuổi. He did that from eight to twelve years old. Ah. Yes. So he was very young when he was out in the field working. Okay. Yes. How long did it take for him to do the painting? Anh làm cái tranh này bao lâu mới xong? À, cái tranh này làm gần một năm tức là khoảng mười một tháng. It took him eleven months to complete this painting. Eleven months. Eleven months. Can you yes. tell him that this is my favorite? À, cái tranh này là cái tranh mà anh thích nhất. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, and, and, very nice. And, but, yes. very and nice. it's also the most expensive. <laughs> and it's also the most expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It is the heaviest. Very heavy. Because when he did it so many years ago, um, the thickness of the board that he used is thicker than some other lacquer that he uses here. Mm. Because um, it's almost like preparing a canvas. And with the canvas, it's easy. You just stretch and you put this gesso on it. Mm -hmm. But with the lacquer painting, you have to process it with layers of lacquer, and you have to put some type of fabric, gauze, over it to take care of it. You have to prepare it correctly, because if not, over the years, it will crack. Mm -hmm. um, so for a lot of lacquer paintings that are not prepared properly, it will crack over the years. But when it's prepared correctly, it could be dropped in the deep ocean and Hundred years later, oh, really? you can still great? pick it out, and and it's good as new. And that's, that's why great? you see a lot of temple throughout Southeast Asia that they have gold leafing or Buddha with gold leafing, mm -hmm. and they would lacquer it, and that helps protect it. So it could have gone down with the Titanic, and still. Uh, yeah, <laughs> correct. correct. <laughs> and it happens before. There's a lot of treasure that we uh, retrace, and there's a lot of lack of products that are actually still in good shape today. How can people get in touch with you if they're interested in making an investment in this painting? Oh, um, they can contact me at galleriebrigitte um, at yahoo.com, and I guess, you know, uh, you can Google it for Gallery Brigitte, mm -hmm. and Gallery Brigitte spelled the French way, mm -hmm. not the two L, but one L. Okay, and we're at the, uh, the Mandarin Hotel. Right. In southwest Washington, D.C. Correct. Which and is you a very can always, nice hotel. Oh, thank you. And you can always <laughs> come to the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. The exhibit is actually it's going to be on until February 2009. Oh, okay. wonderful. Yes. wonderful. In southwest yeah. Washington, D.C., just south of the mall. 
Correct. All right. Yeah. Thank Very you so nice. much. Thank you. This is great. Oh, wonderful. And if you t you can guarantee us that it's going to last for a few years and that'd be even better. Yes. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.